here is going to be the greenhouse in the garden. Joe's getting it ready to do the footers. It's gonna be 15, it ends up being 15 and a half by 10. So it'll be a nice, decent size. Hi, Sarah. It'll be centered here with the front gate to the garden. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Joe. We have all four walls up on the greenhouse and I'm super excited. It's coming together nicely. We're working on the roof. I'm excited, but I'll be even more excited when we get that plastic going, Joe. Because then it's gonna really start looking like a greenhouse, you know?
Oh snap. It's a rare sighting. Lexi is out of her room. Girl, stop. <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> and she's actually helping with a farm project. What? Are you feeling okay today? No, this is called made to do. Made to do? Yes. You've been voluntold? Yes. But look how much faster we got it done because you kids. You should get community service for it. Yes. Seriously? Yes. You're doing a great job though. Yeah, this is too time consuming. Now that I see how good you can paint, I might have to have you help me with some other stuff. What you doing, P? Wow. Make sure you get all the yellow. Looking good. Make sure you get the excess paint off of there, buddy. Like, show him how to get the excess paint. I'll show him how to wipe it on the rippled part. Or like that, yeah. You gotta get the extra off so it doesn't drip everywhere, okay? There you go. Make sure you get it all. Dang. You kids are doing great. Does it help you when you hold your gun at the same time? No. Huh? No. Why do you have your gun? No. For the zombies? Yeah. Yeah. Never know when zombies would come, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Only took us half a day to stain this bad boy. But it's finally done. And now we can start putting the plastic on it. I'm gonna put some stabilizer two by fours up in the, the roof rafters too, so. We got all these painted, almost. Today it is 70, almost 75 degrees. Yesterday was in the 40s, but it was, it just felt freezing cold because of the wind. All bundled up in car hearts yesterday. Tank top and flip flops today. Three or four. Three's probably good. Four. Okay, or four. Well, we've got our first panel on. Look at that. <laughs> Looking good. It's a lot of work though. Put these little styrofoam things in here so that when you screw the bolts in it doesn't crack the uh, plastic. in the roof to do. Getting there. <laughs> hey guys, uh, here we are still progressing on the greenhouse. Um, we're on probably week three of working on this and um, we probably could have been done a lot sooner, but after we got the foundation laid, we actually had um, probably like a week and a half of just constant rain. So it kept us from coming out and getting the framing done. But now that the framing is done and we're getting some of the plastic on here, um, 
it's coming along really fast so I'm really excited um, Joe is cutting a few more pieces of wood and then we are gonna get the roof put on uh, hopefully today we'll see um, and then the back and then of course you know we've got the the door that we need to put on and we've got to do some vents and things like that and then we're gonna come in and level out the ground with some uh, dirt just so looking back on my Facebook at all the beautiful photos that I took of our garden last year and we had probably just as many successes as we did failures. You know, we we didn't get an ounce of cauliflower, an ounce of broccoli. The cabbage worms ate it all before we could get to it. Um, but we were just overflowing with cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and all kinds of other delicious vegetables. So, um, but we learned a lot. So, so here's the inside so far. We still have to do the panels on the back there the plastic panels and we still have to do the roof so Joe is in the garage right now cutting some more of these little support beams here two by fours to put over on this side oh got a bug and then once we get those up we can put the plastic on top but it is coming along so beautifully and it's not too far from the farmhouse. So coming over to the garden to harvest or grab a couple things for a salad for dinner. on putting up a shelf now for all my herbs because right now I just have them on the counter that Joe built me and I really want to be able to use that counter for planting stuff filling up pots and starting some seeds and everything got my tomatoes in the box It's just turning out fantastic. I'm so proud of him. It looks great. So what we're gonna do is use these wire shelves for my herbs and some other plants to kind of give us more space. But, you know, we're doing the wire shelves so that the sun can still shine through as much as possible to whatever's planted on the bottom, which in this case is the tomatoes. Door. We just got a door for like 20 bucks on Craigslist. What was it? 20 bucks, Joe? $25. But it's going to be perfect. It's all glass with a wood frame. So again, let the sun shine through as much as we can. It's going to look really good. Look at that. Rack sits on there just fine. So you know you can get the regular brackets for these, but we wanted something really strong and sturdy that'll hold the pots up really good because they're heavy. And there's going to be a lot of them on there. So, got thyme, parsley, basil back there. We have some rosemary, which rosemary is my favorite. Smells so good. Got some sage, cilantro, then I've got some lavender growing back there. It's gonna smell so good when they start blooming. Hey guys! So here we are a couple months later and we have finished the greenhouse. Um, I say that knowing that we still obviously have some work to do. I don't think it's ever really over. Um, and you have to forgive me, as gloomy and overcast as it is today, it is blazing hot and humid. So I feel like I'm just 
dripping in sweat right now. So, But I wanted to get out here and show you guys the finished product because we worked so hard to get this greenhouse done. And it is thriving, the plants are doing great. So let me turn you guys around and show you our greenhouse, show you what we've done, and show you what we still plan on doing. Um, you know, we, we sit and think of these ideas all the time and we're constantly changing them and adding new ideas, but um, Joe's done a great job. You know, he takes the brunt of the, the heavy lifting and the heavy work, and I'm just so impressed with him on this greenhouse. And so far this season for the garden has been amazing. So I can't wait to show you guys what we've done. All right, let's go. Okay, so here's the greenhouse. It's for the most part all complete. We've added vents on both sides. Uh, to allow fresh air to kind of flow through because we learned really quickly um, how hot and still the air can get inside this greenhouse. You know, we are new to farming, just a couple years in, and so we are still learning as we go. But the vents have helped out tremendously, and Joe started putting um, screen on the inside of the vents try to keep the bugs out and so far it's it's been great um, we keep the greenhouse door open all day long and we keep the vents open so we do get some bugs but it's nothing like outside in the garden so the plants are still really protected in here we haven't found any worms on our tomatoes and last year that's what just took out our tomato plants. Just, they were overcome with worms and it was disgusting. Um, I had originally intended this to be for my herbs, but some of my herbs like basil and cilantro, of course, they didn't do well in, in the, the high temperature, or let's just say the higher temperature in here. So we moved them outside. And I have a few, I have my rosemary in here still because it's such a hardy herb, they're doing just fine. In fact, I just harvested them yesterday, so they got a haircut. <laughs> Got a little strawberry pot up here and I've been taking all of my strawberry runners and starting new baby plants off of them we've got about 10 of those going right now and then I'm going to transplant them here soon maybe into pots and fill up the rest of this shelf with strawberries we have some more strawberries down here got some more of the little runners that we've turned into baby plants. When those are ready to be transplanted, we'll just snip off this vine here from the mother plant and then they will be their own strawberry plant. It's pretty cool. So these boxes, Joe built these boxes in here and we put down plastic over the soil and then we mulched over that. Really the mulch is for cosmetic appearance. I, I don't like the plastic look so we covered it in mulch and it also helps keep the moisture in too. But you guys, the weeds, the weeds are like not an issue. <laughs> it's amazing. I will never garden without garden plastic again. Not in an area where we have as many weeds as we do here in Virginia. Um, as you can tell, there are just no weeds at all, nothing. So we literally just have the pleasure of coming out here and watering and maintaining and pruning and snipping and harvesting. It's awesome. I've put in some mint plants and some of my boxes and I've got some beans growing. My beans didn't do so well outside. They all started dying off. I think that the elements were just too much for them. So we moved them inside. Got some snap peas and they're doing really well. They've actually tripled in size since we brought them in, in the greenhouse. All of Joe's hard work, all of his angles, everything. He's such an amazing builder. I added an old mirror that I found, I think at a yard sale or something one time, I don't know. We brought in a couple box fans and we have an extension cord running out to the greenhouse. I have them turned off right now just so you guys can hear me talking, um, but we normally run these all day long to and really helps circulate the air in the greenhouse and keep it cool in here. 
The other thing we did was added the shade um, greenhouse shade cloth. The temperatures in here, even with the fans on, was getting way too hot for anything to thrive in here. So this shade cloth has been amazing. Still adds a lot of shade, still allowing the light to the sun to shine through because our plants need the sunshine to grow. But the temperature in here dropped 15, 20 degrees easily just by adding the fans and the shade cloth. So, and our tomatoes, we went and got some sticks from the forest and we added them for supports. We kind of have tomato trees growing this year and I think it's lovely. We've heavily pruned all of our tomato plants. We've never grown tomato plants like this before. We've always ended up with kind of a crazy mess, a bushy plant that we can't even get into to harvest the tomatoes because if you let them go, they will just do whatever they want to do. So this year we have been diligent with pruning them and look at all these beautiful tomatoes. They're so gorgeous. No worms, no aphids, nothing. And they're growing all the way to the ceiling. The other thing we did was brought in a battery and a solar panel. And Joe ran the line to install the ceiling fans. We bought these on Amazon, fairly inexpensive. So we leave these on all day and then we turn them off at night. got my dill because I'm a pickle lover so I always have fresh dill growing it's one of my favorite herbs and another box of strawberries down here and the only thing we really have left to do in the greenhouse for the most part other than little things here and there is we want to do some kind of flooring in here because the dirt obviously you know it's dusty and it just Anybody that gardens knows how dirty your feet get anyway, so um, we want to put something in here. We're thinking about doing, um, you know, laying bricks down, stepping bricks, maybe just some gravel. I don't know. We haven't really decided for sure what we want to do, but we do want to put some kind of flooring in here. I was going to have Joe build another shelf like this over here until I learned how tall tomato plants can grow. <laughs> I was like, whoa, clearly we can't have another shelf there. And I'm fine with that, you guys. I think I will always do my tomatoes in the greenhouse from here on out because they've just really done great this year. These ones aren't as tall because they're cherry tomatoes. You know, I guess we could always top these off and control how tall we let them get. Um, but I, I actually don't mind them growing all the way to the ceiling. I think it's just fine. The other thing that we added to the greenhouse was gutters to catch the rain. And um, so we've made a rain catching setup and we now have running water in the garden, which we've never had before. So this has been really cool. We just have the rain going right into these barrels and then we put spigots on each side of the greenhouse so we can have hoses and wash off our feet and water the plants and it's been really really convenient. We get a lot of thunderstorms here in Virginia, in our area of Virginia anyway, so these have always been full for the most part. We put a clear center strip on the roof. I don't know if you can see that. 
you know, there's lots, they have toppers that you can buy at Lowe's that are meant for that, but we just used part of the greenhouse plastic and we cut it and laid it down the center and it's working just fine. all of our cucumbers. We have pickling cucumbers up front and regular cucumbers in the back. As you can see, Joe's out here working, already pulling some of the pickling cucumbers. So thanks for joining us, you guys, on this journey, building our very own greenhouse from scratch. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun, and I think that it's gonna pay off so many times over with the gardening seasons to come. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you'd like to be notified anytime our videos go live. All right, happy gardening.